Hey guys, today we're going to be going over one of the easiest and best ways to get on fish. And I have a very simple poem to remind you that the night bite is the right bite. It's a two liner. It's very easy to remember. Ooh. Lots of fish. Okay, so nighttime, fish are a lot less weary. There's a lot less light, there's a lot less predators out to hunt, um, and, and there's actually gonna be a lot more fish activity at night. You're gonna have a lot higher chance of coming at night because there, there's not as much light for other predators such as like hawks and birds and stuff like that to be able to hunt. So big predator fish are less weary, so you'll actually end up catching bigger fish during this time. Another huge thing is using live bait. Live bait or really fresh bait is always going to be great to use at night. So if you want to get on some fish right away, I say go at night and use some live bait. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We're going to be checking the depths of the water here. Then we're going to be throwing some bottom rigs out to see what we can catch. If that doesn't work out, we're going to try floating. Um, and honestly, it's going to be a good night because it's uh, because of the moon phase and the tides right now. When those line up, it's always a good night of fishing. So. <coughs> <laughs> Mosquito. <laughs> that was traumatic. I hope I'm it wasn't sorry, a moth. I'm laughing, but I'm just gonna say it was a mosquito and not a moth because if that was a moth and I got my throat powder coated. <laughs> so let's get started. Bottom fishing first. Right. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get to this spot is I've got this deeper fish finder right here. This is the new deeper chirp too, and it's got a farther range, it's more accurate, it's it's just a really awesome tool to see what's below in the water, how deep the water is, what kind of fish are there, uh, the water temperature. So I'm going to throw it out there and on my phone I can check the depths and everything like that. I'll show you in a second. Yeah. 6.5 feet here. Oh, we've got fish at the bottom here. Looks like a lot of croaker and stuff. At six feet, we're at 82 degrees water. Oh, there's a lot of fish stacked right here. Something. Uh, there's, a, there's just a lot of fish around here. Let me see if I can find a deep hole. Okay, let's cast it out there where we drift here. Yeah. Seven feet right there. So that's a deeper hole right out there than anything. And this fish, uh, yeah, at six feet, I see him marked right there at six. Okay, so we've got the depths now. Now I've got a really awesome rig about to tie on. This is the high-low rig, the new catch-all rig that I custom put together with these glow floats. And now when you put it in the light like this, it makes it really glow bright. I'm open one of these up and tie it right on here. Now let's put some bait on. I've got great salted clam baits here. These are our clammy bits. These are gonna work great. I think I have some shrimpy bits in here too, see? Shrimps. And this has just been sitting in my backpack for a while, but it's still gonna work really great. What we're gonna do is just rip off an edge corner like that. That red color on this clam is natural, and it attracts a lot of fish just by the color. Piece of clam on here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a good piece. And then I'm gonna put the dead bait right here. This is just a, a fresh dead shrimp. Put that on the bottom one. Go. Now we're ready to fish. Oh, I missed it. Did you see that?
What's that? That's a baby red. That's a small red. Whoa, nice. That was pretty immediate, too. I just casted that. Oh, that's definitely too small. <laughs> hey, that's action right away. I took all the bait this time, so I'm going to put half shrimp. And then some more clam bait. And I'm casting in that seven foot hole right here. This is the deep spot. Is that a croaker? No, no it's another here. red. Oh, another little red. That's the second little one. Snap you? What was that? It's another one. Okay, so we've been fishing, bottom fishing for a little bit. Just small little redfish. But I did see my friend Louie over there. He caught a nice big trout. Um, he was floating though. So I'm going to switch my method and try floating and put it in the same hole and see if I get anything different. Okay, so now we're floating, we're floating the, our, our floats right over top of that hole we found earlier. Seven and a half feet over there. Okay, you can set your depth on here by this knot right here. Right, you push it up or you slide it down and that's how deep you can get it. And that's what all of us are using on this side of the pier. Yeah, my man. Look at these big shrimp here. These are good baits. There you go. It's a cocktail style. Oh, you got a, a, a penguin here. Oh, on my... No, I'm talking to him. Oh, I'm long. I can't see the bottom. Should I get him? Okay. The baby fish. No, not there. Yeah. You could let him flow, man. Like I said. Oh! Oh! Damn! Oh, that's a huge one. That, 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 oh, you're on the ledge. On the ledge. Put you right up in the air. Nineteen and a quarter. That's a keeper. So I, I figured out that you know you I have a big off. swim hey, this time. Here? So oh, I, I didn't tie the hook directly into the line. I let the hook float. <laughs> See that? So when the fish doing the swims, the fish the swim swimming, it can just go either way. So maybe if I stay low longer, lie a little longer. Okay, so we'll look at try another one. I'm retying my hook because it got frayed the last one, and I don't want to lose another fish. I mean, I don't want to lose the fish, so I'm retying it just in case. Then we're going to do an improved clinch here. If you don't know your knots, I've got a whole book of knots on how to and how to tie them. Just check our website. Okay, put it through the head. Oh, okay. what's up? Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. No, this didn't let go. I didn't yank it. That's just, the fist let go. And we're going to cast it right back into that deep hole right there. Letting it drift. You see how fast that bobber is drifting? Bring it in a little bit closer so it doesn't drift so fast. I know you heard it because you... I heard somebody heard it from all the way in Alabama. Ooh. I said, what? No, no. Another way. little guy. And it's worth it. Would you rather have? Oh, yeah, oh. 
Huh? You got small shrimp. Yeah, right I would here. rather have big shrimp. All right, oh, shit. Talk about shrimp. Come out. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. There you go, Louis on one now. Finally. Come up here. There's a lot of fish here. Hey, hey, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Everybody and mama's gonna be over here. There's no fish here. There's no fish here. Croakers only. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a fish, it's just a crab. 18 on the dot, too small. Yep. 18 is keeper, but I won a little bit bigger. What's going on over here? I'm trying to finesse them. You go. Is that what happened me. with the trout, too? Yeah. You were finessing the trout? Alright, I gotta move the legs. Oh. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Yeah. Sorry, my line's too long. <laughs> no, How'd baby. Oh, yeah, he's 20. Oh, go down. 21. Bubble down? Bubble down? That's a big one. You got um, Michael Daddy? I don't know, man. It's a red, man. You know it's a red. Oh, you know what? It's kind of baby. No, that's a keeper. Oh, there's somebody. It got a Louis hook in here. Huh? No, just kidding. Oh, From one thing to the next. Oh, there you go. Is that you or yeah. There we go. That's keeper. There we go. That's a keeper for sure. Look at that perfect hook set. That's my second keeper. Now this is the third one actually, but I don't want to keep those other 18 inch ones. We're going to keep it a little bit bigger than that. Just in case we get in trouble. Oh yeah, 19 and a quarter here. That's a good size. Good eating size one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And hey, where were you at? Hey, Louie. Huh? Yeah, man. Hey. Uh, the pink one. Oh, oh sorry. Wow. I mean, we definitely found the hole. Every time we drifted through that hole, we got a fish. 18. Right. Ducky. Okay. Don't tell me you swallowed my hook again. On a dead shrimp. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> show, show my dad. Woo, lots of fish, fresh fish with the fish market right now. <laughs> okay. Once you go into that hole, we'll get a fish. Jack, you want to touch it, so make sure you got the, 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 the blessing here. Blessing. Here, touch that rod. You got blessing. <laughs> when did you get that from? Uh, where did you get that from? Brandon, we always ask Aaron to bless, <laughs> blessing it. Whoa, bro, I told you. I lost everything. Lost How are you trying to trust that? Oh, Y'all know top season is probably close. Alright. We're just putting a bully on these. 
fish here. You got one? That's another fish. This is probably 18 on the dot too. Lots of fish. Hey, I don't have and, and somebody doubted him. Yeah. Who doubted him? You know who? Louis? Mm -hmm. No. Louis didn't doubt it. Louis, 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 Louis doesn't doubt it. Oh, it's a red fish. It's a red. Duh. Nice job, Jack. It gets good from this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good hook set. Ow, it freaking bit me. Fighting you? Yeah. He always does that to you. Look at that hook set. That's a good one. See that? That's why we use circle hooks, so it doesn't gut hook the fish. Maybe, that's why this is a <laughs> 20, almost 21. Oh, nice. Yeah. Another huge tip is, Using huge live bait, using big shrimps like this is going to get you some nice fish. It'll always give you good fish. If you if you have good quality bait, you'll get some good quality fish most of the time. I think you're not deep enough, Jack. Oh, you're right down. You're down. You on? Whoa, this one's cool. This one's cool. Here, I'll give it to him. Nice 21. We found a hole right here. Pretty deep hole. As soon as we, we drift over top of it, we keep getting a fish. Hello? Check my bag. I haven't checked my bag. Here, Aaron, you want to take this one? Oh, do you take this one so I can get you up to it? Okay. You gotta take my head off. It's okay, just take this. Just take this. It was on top of the box. On top of what? On the box? All right. Give me on top a of girl the Aaron on one. Nice job. Whoa, good one, Aaron. Nice job, Aaron. If it's a good slide, it wouldn't snap the rod. No, it will be. It's a bigger fish. 17. That's too small. Let's go let that go. Good job. Oh, it's stuck right there. Come on, push it out. Good job. <laughs> oh, Jack is on one. Jackie, Jackie, he he's the man. Five. He can do it. Dang. No one can. Jack's on fire now. No, he's you guys blessing me. Touch oh, is the, I told you, is the blessing always helps, right, Jack? Yeah. Oh, I didn't oh. Damn. Oh, and the, oh, my God. We should have knocked on wood. My hook it to, oh, it snapped you. Yeah, it was on the on the ledge. Yeah. It's very strong. Whoa, whoa, Sam, please, I mean, you got to put that on. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, it's my first fish. Oh, I can do the thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Yay. Nice one, Aaron. Oh, I found a trout. <laughs> nice job. You finally found your trout. Oh, you know what? You need help, really? I got it. There you go. <gasps> Good job. Yay. That was all you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Give it a kiss, Lou. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Give it a measure. My guess, 20. <clears throat> 20. 
Uh, I think we have enough fish, right? We have enough fish, right, Dad? I don't want any more, right? Good, you're down. She got one. I'm sorry, but I got some over here. Oh, it's so tiny. Come to mama. Come to mama. Look him up. It's not that big, so. Nice job. Good job. Yay! Huh? That's a trout. It went up to the surface. <laughs> no, it's a red man. What? It's a red. Yeah. Pull up and then wheel down. Pull up and then wheel down. Let's see if you can do it. Uh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> got it fast? Yeah, got to leave out this uh, ledge right there. Pull it in hard, hard. Yeah, faster, faster on me right here. There you go. There you go. Good job, Hannah. Yes, <laughs> Huh? Wow, how you had a big one too. She speaks your language, Louis. I understand. Jay Quetong. Yeah. There you go. Bring your line in, bring your line in. What why are you over there? You stay over here. Because his line, I'm over his line. That's a trout. There we go. Oh damn, got it on my head. Sorry. <laughs> found a trout. Well, at least Louie found a trout. Hey, come on, and man. I went and followed him. On, when you find when you find a hole of trout, go back in there if you want another. Right. Look at that yellow mouth. That's definitely in. It's probably 17, 18. What's in Louis? You under? 17, 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Yeah, that's in. He speaks Chinese. Good. Oh, oh, oh. All right, reel it up. Reel it up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Little baby redfish. Lady fish. There we go, fish ball right there. Mm, bigger lady. Look, man. Oh, yeah. Calm down, because you're going to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So not I did it. 16 and a half. Keep it. Keep That one? Yeah, he got, got a red thing. Who's that? Uh, see him, see him. Oh. That one? See, look, alive. Look, alive. See? Look at one. starting to come up now and my nighttime fishing adventure is over we got so many fish everyone got their limit of fish and uh, we're going home we're gonna have big full bellies tonight because we're ha we have a lot of fish for dinner anyways fishing at night is really good because there's not usually a lot of people around you we had our whole crew here together at fishing together it was a lot of fun because we got on a lot of fish right away and it was a matter of finding the fish having the live bait and just getting on them and being here at the right tide is also really important here at Hey Skipper, I want to show you guys exactly how to get on fish so you can have an adventure just like this. Uh, we do this by making videos like this, but we also write a whole bunch of books and stuff and we publish that online on our website, heyskipperfishing.com. We also make a whole bunch of awesome salted baits and, and like catch-all rigs that are hand-tied with custom colored floats. I made those just for you guys so that you can get out there, slap it on your rods, put some bait on, and just get start catching fish right away. So if you guys want to get on some fish, Visit our website, heyskipperfishing.com. I want to thank Deeper for helping us with finding the fish. You know, I always love using the Deeper, and the new Deeper Chirp 2 is even better than any Deeper I've ever used. It's even more accurate. It has further 
range capability and that night fishing mode is pretty cool. We were able to locate the different holes there, locate the fish, and really just pinpoint how deep to go with my float, and we found fish right away. So thank you guys. You can check out the, the Deeper Chirp too as well. It's a brand new product. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, but we work together with them to make these videos happen. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next week. Thank you.